Hello there everybody and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. And okay, let's see. Has the glitch finally cleared? Uh. <laughs> well the guy was a jerk anyway, so who cares about him? Else more money and Good. Okay. And the glitch is still happening. <coughs> so. And as we're level 9, we need to go and pick up a new ability. Okay, maybe we have sending out new tactics all the time. Tenacity. Now this is a move I like. Okay, I'm gonna put you there. Stay sharp out there. Uh, so this is where I'm putting my support abilities, such as recharge cells and tenacity. So where do we need to go? Weak. Yep. So we're reaching near the end of the Old Man Tale storyline. Most likely it'll be, be this or the next time we head to head onto Coruscant. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. And I'm very sure. I'm very sure. That, I'm very sure that my fellow members of Habit Squad are gonna be there waiting for me. Maybe they're a captain or something. <coughs> <coughs> and yes, this cough still hasn't got hasn't disappeared yet. <coughs> One man village. And I finally got this one. A little late for it, but i have it anyways. I know around here an insane, insane senile man is living. Okay. So. Let's head into the base. And there's still two hours on my, ma my major sword. Also, my little droid body's coming with me. Okay. I believe it's time we test out Mortal Folly. I only managed to survive. Not many can attest survival. So this is it, the Separatist Stronghold. And... Okay, we've got command. Fizz. Wait a second, what are you guys doing in here? Uh... I... That's a possible spoiler alert. Oh, God. Lifts. 
Uh, then my little astromech. Okay. Coming down. Also, I still have these. Which you get for completing. Okay, what do we need? Not far. I see enemies have been defeated. That's probably why you don't build bases in volcanoes. This place is a bit unstable. Okay. Um. I think we might have found a glitch. That, that should fix it. And I might as well just sort of just do good old fashioned bit of leveling up. Oh, it's gonna be power! Well, you can count that as the first. You can count that as the first death. But I'll be back. <coughs> Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Well, I saw us going against level ten, so. I'm packing a stem, so this should most likely increase my survival chance. Okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I did last. Um, yeah, I just realized I probably need to do a bit more leveling up. Limited to level 10, which is kind of useful.
goodness. Remind me to grind a bit. Well, at least I'm near level 10. You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. That was Imperials here! I encountered Imperial soldiers guarding the bomb. <coughs> Copy that. <coughs> we saw them through your armor cam. Unbelievable. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. Keep me posted. If you learn any more, be sure to contact me. You got it, Sergeant. Okay, then. Now we just need to find Havoc Squad. Okay, I've now reached level 10. Normally, there would be a... Normally, as I remember back in the old days, now, what are we going to pick? I'm going to pick Commando. Uh, since because I've got my glasses. And I think this will be good. I'm planning on... I think I'm planning on sort of going on sort of the... Pull, sort of tanky sort of pull. Now, let's just inspect. Let's take a shock strike. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna commit to the Vanguard. Commit. And I'm gonna go with Plasma Attack. So, I've now got shock strike. So, new abilities. Vanguard. Ion Pulse. So where is this gonna go? Okay, yeah, I also got the fleet pass. That goes there. And now I'm gonna take the shield generator. Since because I'm going to need this if I'm going to survive. Means I specialize. Boo! Oh, I'm already liking this. So two levels I'm going to get I'm going to get explosive strike and I uh, pulse.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ion Cell. I love it when, when I find a get Okay. Can I sneak? In here and begin deep. Uh, let's begin working our way through this base. Most likely should be cleared out a good bit. adequately equipped. you have. I'll take those. I need those.
Hey, look, it's Habit Squad. Wait a second, that doesn't look good. Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take her. No, Wraith. The sergeant deserves to know the truth. Wow, so you're basically telling me your evil plan. I wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will <coughs> for you. You're everything a warrior should be. I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors. Even the very best among them. Only cowards def- You're afraid you can't cut it anymore, <coughs> so you're changing sides. You couldn't be further from the truth, Sergeant. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride. Which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. Are you serious? How is the outright tyranny of the Empire any better? <coughs> if only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. Well, I mean, if I got You might even have come with us. If I the Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. I will never betray the Republic. I would never become a traitor like you, Tavis. Yes, I suspected as much. <coughs> oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. Assuming you leave here alive. You aren't going anywhere. You never lacked courage. But I'm afraid that courage will not help you now. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Vor, please give this sergeant the warrior's death she deserves. You're all cowards. Ahead and run. Someone's gonna catch you eventually. It's been an honor serving with you, Sergeant. Why don't you just shoot him in the head? Please, you're level six. Level six? Oh, I pony. Oh, okay. Let's just head back. Well, at least the Separatists don't have a silly mounting bomb. Well, except it's now in the hands of a group which gladly would probably use it to ge commit horrible genocide. What if command's gonna be happy? Okay. General, with all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. So, you know about my squad? Yes, word of the defection is traveling fast. Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. <coughs> I'm General Vander, Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant. I rank Jordan Congratulations. Now? This is just too good to be true. Congratulations, sir. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. My very first supporter. We're gonna have a lot of fun together, Sergeant Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis's face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man, and we need good people now more than ever. 
I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. I'm gonna kill every single one of those traitors if it's the last thing I do. Just don't underestimate them, Lieutenant. Tavis and his followers won't be easy to take down. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped, and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. Yay! When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. Wow, I'm really moving up. I'm really moving up the chain of command. Head of Special Forces, huh? <coughs> this just keeps getting better. General Garza is a great woman. You are fortunate to have this opportunity to work with her, in spite of the circumstances. You better get to your shuttle. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. Okay then. Wow, I can't believe I can use these items, which unfortunately um, I will never be able to use. Okay, let's go zoom up and have a look. So... Wait a second. Okay, before we go, I want to do one thing. I want to have a talk with my brand new companion who is going to basically be healing me the whole thing. I'm... Okay, Gordon, what do you have to say to me? So, Havoc Squad. The best of the best. Can't say I'm thrilled about the demotion, but it's an honor to be here, sir. Welcome aboard. I realize the circumstances weren't ideal, but I'm glad you're with us, Jorgen. A spot in Havoc was the least they could do. Four years at the Academy, seven years in the field, decorations, commendations. Would have made captain soon if command hadn't hung me out to dry. Hmm. I agree, that was kind of unfair. Like, it was tough. It was Havoc Squad's fault. Oh, wait, I'm a member of Havoc Squad. We both know Tavis's defection wasn't your fault. <coughs> Tell that to the brass when they need a scapegoat. But hey, water under the bridge. Command put me in havoc to help you find Tavis, and I intend to do just that. I've hunted Imperials from one side of the galaxy to the next. Used to command the Dead Eyes, finest sniper squad in the Republic. The Dead Eyes? I'm not familiar with that outfit. No? Maybe I'll tell you about them sometime. Okay. Ready when you are, sir. This is gonna be a game of glitches, I can tell. First off, mail, a mail bot saying I've got one mail, even though I've got no mail, and Jordan saying he wants to talk to me. Okay, let's just... Moving out. Ready. Yeah, that fixed it. Well... This is it. This is the end of Aunt Mantel. I've hoped you enjoyed. I will see you all again next time. I am the good one, signing off.